Welcome back, guys. Back here on the orchard. Exquisito is ripening. Still pumping out figs. We're in mid-September right now. Got a little bit of scale here. Craven's Craven. Here's the Fagoin. It's been dropping a lot of figs. I think it's just because it's young. But it set a ton of figs, over 100 figs on this guy. It's still holding on, but I think that it set too many and it's just dropping whatever it can't support on its own roots. Hopefully we get at least a few on this. There's Cosme Manio. These should be ripening up or uh, swelling up pretty soon here. Any week now. It's got some good growth on top. Got an air layer here that we're hoping will show roots pretty soon. Here's the Dells. This one should also be ripening pretty soon. So here's the Asang. And look how tall this guy is now. It's gotta be pushing 10 feet in its first year. We have one fig. No idea if it was pollinated. So we'll see if that guy ripens pretty soon here. All right, here's what we're looking at today. Um, I'm mainly looking at this guy, which is the Nero del Cisternino, which is supposed to be common. I have no idea if this is pollinated. Um, we are in Orange County, so we do believe that there are wasps in this part of the state. We have an Azores Dark right here, and then two more Exquisitos, which we've had plenty of already, but no harm in showing you a couple more. So let's cut them open and see what they look like. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Not sure about this Nero. Looks like it half ripened, but not properly. We have the Azores Dark, which looks really good. And then two Exquisitos. All right, this is what I came here for. So I'm going to try the Nero's first have no idea how this is going to taste. I don't, don't even know if this is edible, but let's give it a try. Um, it's not, it's not terrible. Um, <laughs> it's edible. Um, the first one that I had off this tree, it was partially ripened even less ripe than this one. It had a tiny portion of it that actually ripened. And to me, it tasted really, really good. It tasted like dates and raisins. Um, this one has a similar flavor, just not as strong. Let me try a little bit of this outside portion here. Yeah, it's good. It's good, it's just not ripened properly. Um, I really like the taste of this. It's unlike any of the other figs I've had. Um, it just hasn't ripened properly yet. It's it's still a first year cutting or first year tree. So hopefully next year it'll give us some um, better figs, but I can see the potential. I'm not even gonna rate this one because I don't think it'll be fair, um, but looking forward to uh, trying more of these. All right, moving on to the Azores Dark. This one, uh, we haven't, we didn't dry this one. This one is um, not as dry as the last one I had, but it does look really good on the inside. Let's go ahead and try this one. Delicious. Great berry flavor. The dried one I had, um, I gave that one a nine. This one's on par with that. Um, when you let it dry, it, it turns into like a berry jelly candy flavor um much different than this but even at this point it's really good um highly recommend this one all right and then we have another exquisito this one's got nice amber color on the inside a lot of syrup in there let's go ahead and give it a try 
really, really good concentrated flavors. Um, we had a couple of Squizzitos, um a couple weeks ago and they were good, uh, more of a mild berry flavor. This one has a much more concentrated berry flavor. Um, very unique, as I've said in a couple of videos before. Uh, this one produces a ton of figs. Excellent grower. Highly recommend this one. Um, absolutely delicious. So that's what we have today. Um, I know a couple of these we've already reviewed. Was really looking forward to that Nero del Cisternino, but looks like we're going to have to wait until next year for another update. So appreciate everyone dropping in. Uh, this is Green Shoots Nursery. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, drop a comment below, and we'll talk to you guys later.